All right, this is William from PrimerPodcast.com, and we're here with CJ Clayton from Maradine Performance Fan. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Nice to see you. Thanks nice for stopping by. Uh, why don't you tell us about the company and your products? Um, we are an American company. Um, our fans are imported from various suppliers. Um, at the suppliers, we do have people at the factories, so every fan is made to our specifications, to our quality. We are a true fan manufacturer, where there are a lot of fan companies out there. They are purchasing their fans from someone. There are actually quite a few companies out there that purchase fans from me, so that's how I know that. Okay. Um, what should someone look for when they're looking to purchase an aftermarket fan? You know, one of the things I like to say is it, anybody could pick an electric fan and put it on a car. The most important thing we got to try and do is pick the right fan and put it on the car the first time. You know, how many times do you really want to screw around putting an electric fan on your car? Once. That's, you know, that's, <laughs> that's my main question to people. So, you know, I like to find out, you know, what are we working with body style? You know, if we're dealing with a 49 Buick that's got a big grill opening and sees a lot of natural air, that's a pretty easy challenge. We're dealing with a C3 Corvette from 1974. We got a small, narrow grill opening, gets sees very little natural air. So I like to find out what, what type of body style we're working with first. Then I like to find out the, the engine combination. Are we dealing with something with a bunch of compression and camshaft? You run a high rear end gear and it create, all that stuff will create more and more heat. So that'll tell me what direction we need to go with a fan. Okay, uh, what about customer service, support? I, uh, I don't hide from my customers. You guys call me, leave me a message. I do call people back. Um, you can find me on Facebook. I post my email address. I post my direct dial phone number. I'm a very, very easy guy to find. So uh, you give me a call, and I will help you choose the fan for your vehicle with no problem at all. Okay. What about a little bit, little bit of history on the company? The, one of the things, our company is about 10 years old now. Um, a lot of the product was existing because we sell it into an OE market for uh, like trucks and buses and AC systems, all in the mobile HVAC arena. So some of the products were just a natural crossover and very simple to bring over. Some of the products like this fan here, we developed the shroud, but the, the, the motor and the fan blade itself came from the OE side. So we have a strong history in motor fan development, blade development, things like that. Out of the Texas facility, we do operate our own wind tunnel and do all of our own testing. And what about the different product lines? We have different product lines. We have the Champion Series, which is my flagship, which carries an IP68 certified motor, um, which means it's water and dust proof. Uh, I, that, that, is all, that, that, that motor is standard through my Champion Series. On the Jetstream Series of products, that motor is on them, and, and that's all shrouded units. The Champion is unshrouded units. The, the Jetstream is shrouded units. Then I also have, um, I have fans from that are made out of our Mexico facility, and, which is our Pace Setter Series. And then our Challenger Series are fans from China. And say I was going to install one, how much time should I allocate? That all depends on each in particular user, okay? Um, not everybody's skill set is the same. One of the things is er every customer should realize they have to have some mechanical aptitude to do this. It, nothing is a direct bolt-in. I am not a, I'm a universal fit fan company, okay? I don't do a lot of direct bolt-in stuff. It's just a, it's an engineering side that takes up so much time and so much dollar I haven't had time to get into it. So I have various brackets, uh, universal fit brackets and things like that, that do help out and make it, make it quite a bit easier. Awesome. Sounds like a great product. Can't wait for our install in January. And Check out our Facebook page. You can see all the people we sponsor. I have quite a few off-road trucks. If my Champion Series fan can withstand to the, uh, to the short course off-road trucks, I'm pretty certain there's not too much anybody else can do to them. So. Right. Thanks for talking with us. All right, man. Thank you very much for stopping by. All right. Have a good show. Have a great rest of the show. Thank you again.